In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a code slide or a code poster in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have uh, drawn a cloud here. Then I've written the word called quote. And then within the inverted commas, you can add your own quotation here. Then I have added a ladder with the shadow effect where a person is trying to climb that one. And I've created with uh, different colors also, whichever way you feel better, you can just uh, add the background color. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. To draw the cloud, go to insert shapes and from rectangle, select the second one, which is the rounded corners. Draw the rounded corner, maybe this much size and make sure it is fully curved. Let me just increase the size a little bit. Shape outline, make it no outline. Then go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the oval shape draw the random oval shapes you can see here press ctrl d you can make one like this again ctrl d you can make it somewhat bigger again make it somewhat smaller you can see here and one more something like this so whichever way you feel better you can just add it and then i'm going to select all and shape outline make it no outline and merge shape make it union so you end up getting a cloud shape something like this now i'm going to change the background of the slide for that right mouse click go to format background and you can choose any good color of your choice i have chosen this particular color and then i'm going to select the cloud and shape fill make it white now I'm going to draw the ladder. To draw the ladder, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle. You can see here, draw a small rectangle, maybe this much size. Again, shape fill white, shape outline, make it no outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it, just add here. And again, press Ctrl D one more time and reduce the height, you can see here and then I'm just going to rotate it. You can just simply rotate it right 90 degrees and just exactly put it in the center, something like this. You can see here, just make sure that this is just touching this edge only. And once this is done, press Ctrl D to duplicate, add something like this and make sure that all these are properly aligned. Let me just bring it more closer. Yes. And then I'm going to select this, all the shapes of the ladder and press Ctrl G to group it. The next step is to make the shadow. So I'm going to select the ladder, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and shape fill, make it black color and then increase the transparency level. You can see here. And then I'm just going to tilt a little bit and just put it something like this you can see here and this also you can just increase the size i can increase the size let it go outside of the slide area not a problem then select this and just send to back so you got this particular shadow effect also now it's time to add the code go to insert text i'm just going to add the word code here make it center align bold i'm going to select the font called uh, oswald increase the size you can see here how much size you need and just put it exactly here and then add one more text box go to insert symbols and click on the symbols again so you can see here i have added something which is the the comma inverted commas or the quotation marks you can say which is available in the wingdings i'm just going to select this insert and close so you got this one and home increase the size you can see here increase the size and put it one at the top here press ctrl d to duplicate it and then rotate it go to format rotate and just add one more here and then go to insert text box, add your code here. 
so any code of your choice you can add it here and if you want to insert any icons you can go to insert click on the icons and you can just select any good icon from here let me just go fully down and you can see here there are some icons here which is this one i'm just going to select maybe this click insert just increase the size a little bit make it a white go to home make this white press ctrl d i'm going to make this also one more black and increase the transparency level and put it here and then this also just send this to back so you can see here our design is ready that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye